blackberries, blackberries, you beautiful things. Blackberries, blackberries, you absolutely gorgeous things. Right, so this is the intro to my first blackberry wine making video. Uh, after this, you'll see a variety of different little clips and sections and the odd photo. Um, I make reference to Mr. Spectacular a number of times. And there's good reason. I'll include a photo when I did my three yeasts, white, white, white grape, red grape and apple yeasts. And I've, because I followed his advice and his recipe, links below and his channel uh, card there somewhere, there somewhere will be his channel card. Okay, so blackberry, blackberry, you beautiful thing. So we are on a mission at the moment. Uh, we are harvesting blackberries. And this is to make our first batch of blackberry wine. Uh, I'm going to step in closer here to, to show you what we are after. Look at it. Just look at that. Now we don't harvest strip harvesting we leave some for the animals which is always a good thing now i'll tell you about this blackberry wine and where it comes from a mr spectacular spectacular mr spectacular i will leave all the links look above look below to mr spectacular's channel i'm gonna copy roughly copy He's a strawberry wine recipe, and I'll tell you more about it a bit later. So we're looking for about two and a half to three kilos of this good stuff that you see all over here. And then as we walk along, we'll show you the little enchanted wood over there and see if the swing is still there. And the good lady, she can go swinging on her swing for now. I won't say much more, I'll just get to picking. Uh, the makings of, this is batch number two of our blackberry wine. There's about two kilograms, just over two kilograms of flowers and berries in the pot. Uh, lessons learned from the previous uh, batch, batch number one, was to use a larger pot. So we've got quite the mister, the soup pot on here. Um, okay, the berries, four liters of water going in there. Uh, then, he has our yeast. This is a special red grape yeast made by yours truly, according to Mr. Spectacular's recipe. Uh, one kilogram of sugar, which of 900 grams is white. And uh, 100 grams of nice treacly um, one lemon, the juice of will be squeezed in, and one tea bag. You see there, we classy, we use Earl, Earl Grey, so lani. Right, so let's get the show on the road. The water, four liters of water. I use the five liter containers so that I can uh, retain them as secondary fermenters. No more talk. Only action now. I'll show you once we are stirring the process. Squeezing the lemon juice in here now. We'll do a good job of squeezy, 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 squeezy. And then, uh, once it comes up to the boil, we remove the heat or kill the fire, as Mr. Spectacular likes to say. We kill the fire. We'll kill the fire. And then we'll add the sugar and stir, 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 stir to get that dissolved and include the tea bag. And then it will rest for 10 minutes for the tea bag to seep or steep or whatever that fancy word is. And then I'll show you again. But just before we get there, this is the magic spoon from the previous batch. I'm only allowed to ever use this spoon again. Because as you can see, it's got a lovely rosy glow to it. 
of course my timing is perfect as this comes to the boil and I need to be recording guess what's happening the good lady's machine is spinning the washing machine is in full tilt wind up mode just beneath me here so please pardon my stupidity of trying to make a video while more important things must be happening okay this is about a minute or two away from me adding the sugar so that's next step slowly slowly stirry stirry slowly slowly there it goes that was quite slowly slowly okay I'm going to be stirring this until it's well absorbed and incorporated and dissolved and all those nice things and then uh, we'll start our 10 minutes with the tea and after that it will go into the sink to cool down to room temperature right so for now the fire is going off right now there we go the fire is off and I will stir a little bit longer and we'll talk again once uh, this goes into the cooling system, this cooling phase. Okay, here's my ice block lumps in the water. Uh, I've just changed the water, got rid of the warm first uh, lot of water. Uh, you'll see there's still a bit of uh, steam rising. So we'll get this down as quickly as what we possibly can. We need it at room temperature before we can uh, add the yeast. As I've said, uh, we don't want to kill the yeast. But I also want to take some of the juice out to mix uh, a sort of a glass full with the yeast to make sure that the yeast is working. Soon we're going to be sampling the pleasures of our labors the fruits of our labors but our next project will be wait for it i hope you can see those little fruit in there those are slows slow berries blackthorn blackthorn the botanical name prunus spinosa i'll try and show you why it's spinosa so Yes, uh, slow berry wine, slow wine, not slow berries, they droop, so we'll just call them slows. Slow wine, that's our next bit of fun we're going to have. So I'll show you where I'm taking this. Look at the blackberries, the ripening blackberries. Look at that view we were just down on the beach i don't know if you can see where those people sorry for that where those people are walking we were down there now we're up here digging around in the blackberry bush and harvesting slopes right so that's enough of me Thanks for there watching. There we go. We're racking our first, first batch. And it's going into the bottles. And it's running and it's flowing. And it's going into the bottles. We started to get uh, towards the lower half of the secondary fermenter. So I think we've got enough in there for one more bottle. Pheasants, pheasants everywhere. That fallen tree, look at the pheasants flying. Watch, 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 watch. We've come here to the blackberry wood. We've come on a mission, a fourfold mission, and we got a bonus. Look at the pheasants. Look at them. Listen. Look at that big cock pheasant sitting there. Watch, he's also going to go shortly. Let's see, let's see, there's a whole lot more around the side, so let's go around the obstacle. Then you'll see them run, watch them, watch them, watch them, watch them. This place is infested with pheasants. Look at all the cocks, 
So, boulder. Alright, so I'm tripping and falling here over corn. Look at them. There goes a hen pheasant. There they are. Run. Okay, so if you're wondering why they, where they come from, there's a pheasant farm there where you see that tree in the distance. A bit further down there, there's a farm there. Um, they're running here. I see something in a tree there. That's, that's a hen pheasant. I thought for a second it was a, a bird of prey, but it's not. Okay, so let me get back to what we are here for. We are on a fourfold mission. We've come to look for mushrooms of a specific kind. Fly agaric. Fly agaric. Or, there's the biological name. That's number one of the mission. Number two, we have come to see our blackberry harvest spot because we need to have a nice we wine wind up. We've got to finish off our first and look there, we've actually brung ourselves ah empty glasses. Now you can guess what's gonna go into those empty glasses. Definitely not fruit. But the juice of the fruit. Okay, we need to get through this thicket. And then we need to come and look for slows. But that's there somewhere in the jungle that we've got to go through to find the slows. So for now, I'll be quiet and we'll wade through this jungle. Uh, we, there's a specific way you have got to get through this line here. We'll go in here somewhere, I'll see now. And then, here we go. In here, look at the pheasants. Look at the pheasants, run. You can have a good feed here. You see, we have to go in here. Look at them, fly. Pheasants, pheasants everywhere. There we go. Got right across that path here, the tree stump, and we keep going down. And I'll talk to you once we uh, are at our destination. If you look back, you'll see the good lady cinematographer having a swing on the slot. So we found our way into the the little pine spot, and I'm doing a 360. And I'll do sort of up and down and the 360, like so. You can see all the stuff that you see around us here. That's blackberry. The blackberry vines. We've had to do a bit of a bundubash here already. I'll show you the definition of a bundubash. You can see there, if it wants to focus, you can see there, Focus, yes, focus, there it's focusing. I'm bleeding. The sun is bleeding. We're both bleeding, and that's for our art. Okay, right, as you can see, blackberry, blackberry, blackberries everywhere. The pheasants and the blackberries. And the next thing we're going to show you is we're going to find a spot to put our wine down, and we're going to enjoy a sup of wine here in the spot where we harvested the blackberries. Right, we have to do a retake because I was prattling away and we had our first sip and I was thinking I was recording, but I was not recording. Here's our bottle. Uh, like the elephant label, it was a South African wine and we saved the bottles. You can see the color there. The sun is holding his. Uh, mine is balancing nicely. I'm going to pour a little so that you can see the what happens on the pour and I hope that the glass doesn't fall there seems to be a bit of a natural fizz that there seems to be and the color is quite interesting definitely tastes like blackberry wine so uh, I'm going to qualify my wine tasting uh, connoisseur's experience I have no sense of smell I do everything by taste and by feel look there there we go there's a plane going overhead I'm not going to try and show you that anyway so uh, I judge wine 
in one way and only one way. If it tastes good, I don't care what it costs, I drink it. If it could be a, a 50 euro bottle of wine, if it tastes like vinegar to me, I class it as bad wine and I'll never buy it again. It could be a 5 euro bottle of wine, tastes bad, I'll never buy it again, but if it tastes good, I will buy it again. Anyway, so this is our very first batch of blackberry wine, harvested here from the plants that we've shown you. Uh, you look back there in the video, as I said, uh, I want to have a sip and I want to slurp this. I now know what it tastes like because, as I said, this is a retake because I boo-booed the first take. But I'm going to have a slurp for effect in any case. Ah, look, there's the sun having a slurp too. Uh, I tell you what. I can't fault that. For our first attempt at making wine, for fermenting something from made from uh, uh, scratch, everything's made from scratch. Even the yeast was made from scratch. Yeah, look at him. He's peeping out at it there. Anyway, I'm going to thank you very much. I am going to say stay safe, stay free, and be happy. And there you have the addendum. We didn't find the mushrooms. We found lots and lots and lots of bramble piles to trip over to get out. We didn't find the slows either. Bad news. But we did find these blackberries to shove in the glass and to show you for addendum. Right, so that's the end of this first batch of black. Berry wine, the last movie, the last clip in this whole section. The usual, stay safe, be happy, like, hit the subscribe button and anything else you would like to do. Comment, share, everything. Bye. Bye. Bye.